let's look at the move command MV first let's take a quick look at the manual page for MV it simply moves files here's the syntax or how you would type it on the command line with options and source location and the target location and some more information along with options before we move something let's see what we have here we have four folders folder one folder two folder three and a movies folder if we look inside of the movie folder we'll see we have three movies the curl movie MKDR movie and so on. Likewise, if we look in folder 3, it also contains a movie and so on. Let's clear the screen and decide what we want to move. We'd like to move these folders containing movies, folder 1, 2, and 3, into the movies folder. If we look at the graphical environment, currently the movie folder only contains three movies, which are files. It doesn't contain any folders. Let's move everything into here. So one way we could do this is we could take folder th three and drag it onto, fold onto the movies folder. And when we look inside of movies, we'll see it now contains the three original files and folder 3. And inside of folder 3, there's a movie. Let's go back. Now we want to get the other folders, folder 1 and folder 2, inside here as well. So we could highlight these. And we could drag them, but let's not do that. Let's go ahead and use the command line. So if we do another listing, we'll see now we have folder 1, 2, and movies. Notice folder 3 has disappeared because we've moved it into movies. And if we do a ls of movies, we see it's inside there. Let's clear the screen. Use the LS minus F to make it more apparent. LS minus F of movies. And we see these files with the MOV extension, actual files or movie files. And this listing with a slash at the end is the movie 3 folder. So let's clear the screen and use the move command. MV and then what you want to move. Let's move folder 1 and let's move it into the movies folder. And we could do the same for folder 2. Now when we do an LS the only thing we have listed is the movie folder. If I click on the graphical environment below here, we should see it updating before our eyes and folder 2 and 1 should disappear and we should find them in movies. Let me go ahead and click here and double click on movies and now we see all three folders are in here along with the three original files. That's it for the MV command. Uh, for more options and details on using it, look at the man page.